What are you seeing from Keaton right now? He's played, yeah, great practice. So. Like I said, Keaton has been good since we've been here and excited to watch him play. It was obviously a different game plan after halftime. You had a lead. Will you open things up for this week the same way you would if he was in there? <laughs> yeah, we game plan the same. And uh, you just got to do whatever. Put your best position to win against any opponent. So we uh, game plan doesn't change. Like I said, it'll I mean it'll change based on the opponent, but uh, not based on our personnel. Aside from obvious game experience, how are Keaton and JT different as players? They're a lot different as players. You know, I think I mean, the mentality is a lot different. The you know the skill level is a lot different. What they bring to the table is a lot different. So um, like I said, they're very different players, but they both played at a high level ever since spring. You know what I mean? And that's uh, what I'm excited about and like I said you hate to see someone get hurt uh, no matter who it is and, and uh, so obviously I feel terrible JT and he was having a heck of a half other than the turnover so um, you know you hate it for JT but uh, you gotta I mean the season goes on you gotta continue to play and uh, we've, we've had a ton of confidence in Keenan since he's been here so again I'm excited to watch him play. When you what first happened, what happened job. on the other side of the goal line? It looked like, it looked like he threw into Triple coverage and on the other side, neither guy looked like they were looking to catch him up. Yeah, it was really what a run exactly play. Uh -huh. It's exactly That was a, a run pass option, so they, they were blocking because they were blocking for the run on the other side. Okay. And, uh, you know, he made a poor decision. I think the, the snap was bobbled, right. and so he kind of took his eyes away from the defense and then uh, just made a bad decision. Okay. But, you know, like I said, bad decisions happened. He, other than that, I thought he had a heck of a half. I don't know what his numbers were, but. Um, moving the ball up and down the field, and uh, like I said, regardless of if the ball if the ball has ever been bobbled or not, you got to continue to make good decisions, and, and I think he knows that. And uh, you know, it might have been too late to hand it off, but you can throw it away, or uh, you know, that's the thing. Sometimes throwing a ball away is your best the best decision you can make, and so you just have to, um, as a quarterback, that's part of the job, and, and uh, but it's also part of the learning process. You know what I mean? I mean, he's had. A season, but he's still learning. And I, like I said, I think you're always learning. So the more experience you have, the better you'll play. Uh, and so, like I said, that was a, an opportunity for him to to learn, and, uh, and I'm sure he will learn more. When you first took this job and you turned on the film and watched Keaton, what was your first impression of him? Uh, I mean, I didn't know much about Keaton until spring, honestly, and then uh, I tried to come in with a clean slate on all the guys. And uh, but that's the thing when when you first watch him throw, he's, he's a very talented, I mean, a really talented passer. Fundamentally, he's very sound. The ball jumps out of his hand, and so um, you know his talent level definitely gives him a chance to be really successful. And then, and then uh, from there, it's going to come down to decision making. He's going to have to make good decisions, but uh, you know that's what practice is for. And, and again, he had a heck of a spring and did some really good things all camp. And so uh, we expect him to make good decisions. And I'm sure there's going to be times when he makes some mistakes and he's going to do some things that you wish he wouldn't do. Um, but that's what most quarterbacks, like I said, JT had a year of experience under his belt and, and made some. You know, the, the interception makes a decision you wish you wouldn't make, but um, the more experience you get, the better you're going to be as a player. And so, like I said, at times he's probably going to make some freshman mistakes, and we're going to have to live with those and, and overcome those if he does. But um, like I said, I got a ton of confidence in him. He's a talented guy and a great guy to work with. And so, uh, excited about, like I said, the opportunity to watch him. You remarked the other week that uh, Keenan was as talented as you've ever been around. You played with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I was wondering, did you mean that in the sense of a college kid or a freshman? What did you mean by that? I mean, throwing the ball, he's, he's extremely talented. And that's what I want to say. He's talented. I mean, as far as the passer goes, he's, he's got as good of an arm as I've seen. And, and uh, he can he can make any throw out there that, you know, he can make throws that most people can't make. Um, again, with him, we just have to try to do our best to make it, help get him making the right decisions every time. And, and if he does that, it's going to be a fun, he's going to be a fun kid to watch. Is the success of a, of a guy like the Knicks kid at uh, uh, Auburn or the uh, Bach market at Boise State, does that help, you know, his, his attitude going in there and you know, true freshman and just go out and make? I have no idea who that is, so. Um, yeah, man, you didn't hear those kids? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. You have to ask Keaton. Did you plan yeah. to rotate more wide receivers on Saturday? Uh, you know, I think that uh, with practice, um, you know, they – we practiced at, a, at an extremely fast pace, and uh, so they got in really good shape. And then when the when the game goes on, sometimes the refs slow it down, and so um, they, you know, the, the receivers, I guess, just felt fresh in the whole game. But um, you know, going through a full season, yeah, uh, I think the, the the game plan would be to put you know rotate those guys a lot more. We just didn't, again, the, we were kind of letting them.
police themselves because in practice that's kind of what we do and, and they felt fresh and so uh you say coach was a lot slower than what we're used to um so we got to do a better job as a staff like i said trying to 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 uh, make sure that because like, if you're playing 85 plays a game it's gonna be hard to make it through a season probably honestly so um, we'll do a nice job like i said we got to do a good job of, of making sure that we're um realizing how much they're playing and, and getting guys in there and getting fresh legs in there at times but uh, the, like, like I've said since I've been here, that receiver group's a special group. They love to compete. And, uh, you know, you, you think, surely they can't run anymore and they just keep running. You know what I mean? They're, like I said, they're like racehorses. I compare them to that all the time. But when, when you let them loose, they just run and they go. And uh, they're fun to watch. And so, uh, but yeah, I would expect to see more guys getting in there throughout the season. And, uh, and as a staff, we have to do that. What did Marquis that, step? You mentioned that uh, JT and, and Keaton's mindset or their mentality was a little different. Could you respond on that? Where, where are they different in terms of their mentality? I think more personality is probably what I don't know what I said, but personality is more probably what I'm talking about. And, you know, Keaton's kind of like a young, smiley, you know, uh, plays a lot. And I mean, that, that kind of guy where JT is more quiet. And, uh, and I mean, like I said, they just, they're just very different being around them. And, and I think interacting with players and stuff like that, they're, they're very different people. But, uh, you know, like I said, they both play at a high level and there's no there's no right way to act or wrong way to act. I think you got to be yourself, and that's what I think both of them do a good job of doing. Is, is you know, it's it's not JT's personality to be a raw, raw leader or, or a loud guy, but uh, you know, I think he can lead in his own way, and, and, and he just acts as himself. And, and you can't try to be someone you're not. So JT did a good job of that. Where raw, I mean, uh, where where Keaton's a little more um, talkative, upbeat. He doesn't mind kind of trying to get the group going, and and uh, and he does a good job, like I said, not trying to be anyone he's not and, and he does it in his own way but um, personality wise like I said I just think they're, they're very different kids they're both fun to be around and, and uh, like I said I think they can both be great football players. So what, will, Mar- what, what will Marquis step need to do to break the rotation? Hey, you know, I think Marquis had a great fall and uh, in, in any game but in, in our offense and anything you try to feed the hot hand both those two the, the other two running backs were playing really well and we had plans to get Marquis carries and then like I said just um, Vi and, and Carr were both playing at a high level and then uh, we're getting lots of touches but when they're getting touches we're being special with the football and so like I said we, they just kind of caught those receivers they were they were hot and they weren't feeling too tired and Carr gets a little tired but Vi never gets tired you know what I mean and so uh, it's hard to take them off the field when they're playing at a high level and when uh, and, and when they're not you know if, if, if they're still fresh enough to go so um, with that being the case like I said those two guys just kind of took the load of the reps but when Keith has been uh, as good as anybody with the ball in his hands, I think, all fall camp. And so uh, we had plans to get in the ball. And just like I said, when you get rolling, uh, the rotation we kind of ended up falling out and fell. And, uh, and that's what happened. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. We, we preach being great teammates. And regardless of your role or whatever, each game, uh, your role is probably going to change. And we still expect guys to have great attitudes and come out here and compete every day and, uh, you know, and be great teammates. And that's kind of what we preach to them. What we expect from them, and that's we have a special group of guys that do a really good job of that. Great, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.